I just want to make sure you're all, you're still coming between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. These are the these are vintage. These are real. Here's our sofa. Mm. Hello. I want to show you guys some new additions to our living room because our living room is literally like it's like almost done, guys. Like almost done. So let's get to it. Before I show you guys the sofa reveal and everything, I want to show you guys quickly. Um, a small shopping trip that we did a few days ago. If you guys are in Toronto, you probably are familiar with like Orpheus Road, Caledonia Road. It's really close to Yorkdale Mall and all of like the really beautiful large furniture stores, tile showrooms, everything is there. So we decided to head out there with my mom to just grab some inspo. My favorite places around there are LT and LT Market. They're both quite expensive. And we actually checked out Home Societe, which Sarah actually recommended me to go to so we definitely had to check it out so if you guys are ever in the Toronto area and you're looking for furniture or just inspiration in general you should definitely head out there um, the prices are definitely not um, super within reach definitely total opposite of Ikea but there are some stuff that are definitely less than restoration hardware so I still give it three dollar signs while we were at LT carpet we actually saw um, some vintage stuff so I got to see like real like Pierre Jean Array chairs and like real like some real designer finds which I think is so cool because I've only really seen repros of this stuff in person so yeah like I, I just thought all the vintage was super dope so let's just go into that shopping trip we're heading to the store right now called Home Society there's like a bunch of brands that are in it Sarah just went and said we have to go I also saw on Tara's vlog that um, she was just here so anyway we want to go in for inspo we're just browsing, but the showroom looks massive from what, I'm, what I've seen, so we're gonna go in and head there. Yep. Off we go. Oh my God. This is insane. This looks like LT. I really wanted to sit on this. Can I sit on it? I think we need this. Toledo would really like this. Oh, this one's more cloudy. Oh, wow. I was not prepared. It's it, cloudy. It's sinky. I personally have always wanted a four poster bed. This would not be the one I would choose. But let me know if you guys like these because Dylan is just not into them. So <laughs> it's going to kill my dream, but it's okay. <laughs> I really like this as well. Oh my gosh, Toledo would love this. So I'm sitting on a wishbone chair. I know Tara showed these in her vlog too. These ones are actually really well priced. They're about 169 each, which is good for new dining room chairs. Um, but yeah, we almost got these actually, not these ones from this store, but we almost got a wishbone style. This is what they look like. <laughs> I really like this. I know everyone has it. Like not this color, but like that'd be so cute downstairs. crazy these are 439 versus the other ones were 169 it's the same ish chair Maybe, I don't know. that's a nice coffee table that. this is incredible but you can't get this if you have a dog <laughs> how cool is that wow dill you did yourself okay this is a little garbage can guess how much this is a thousand dollars it's two thousand almost <laughs> oh my goodness that's a two thousand dollar garbage can these are so beautiful I mean, these are, I think, are these, these must be the real ones. These are the, these are vintage. These are real. Those chairs back there, those are, we looked at something like that, remember? Those are beautiful too. I'm shocked they sell vintage. This is, this is, these are so, these would look so nice in our dining room. Like that, if that was the chair. This is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at this desk. So beautiful. Next story on this sofa. It's taken nine months for it to arrive here. Literally nine months. So if you guys have been following my Instagram, you'll know the story a little bit more detail. But basically, the company's just been like, it's just been like kind of a pain to work with. I understand with the COVID delays and stuff like that, which is why I haven't said too much and why I haven't said where it's from. Because like I don't, like I've only had this experience with them. Like I don't know what their regular customer service is like. But for now, it's like it hasn't been 
great. Like it hasn't been great, but like at the same time, we love our sofa and we think it was totally worth it because for the price point it is and for the quality and just everything we want in a sofa, I, I really do recommend the product, but I just do think, I do think our whole entire um, situation with it wasn't great. So like, do I recommend it like half and half if you know what you're getting into and you're willing to wait nine months for a sofa, maybe, but like I really do love the way it looks. Um, we're still waiting for the second order that would make it an L shape. So I'll put that up on the screen when I talk about it again. So let's hop over to delivery day and show you guys our delivery day. Welcome to the current state of our house. What happened yesterday, Dylan? We got an exterminator. Yes, we got an exterminator because um, we had carpenter ants. Fun problem to have. We had carpenter ants and carpenter bees. And why did we have this, you ask? Well, I can tell you why. That. And basically all the wood in our house. If you have a lot of wood in your house and you live in a four season climate, even if you don't, I can imagine this, you running into this issue. Um, the, it's from damp wood. It's from damp wood. So we're definitely going to have to figure that out. Even if you have like a deck, you can easily get carpenter bees or carpenter ants. Um, so anyway, hopefully they're gone forever. Now, if you guys have been following on this journey since we bought our house, you'll know that I purchased a sofa back in November of 2020. And as you guys are watching this, it is almost July 2021. November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. It's been nine months. Apparently it's coming today. The sofa is coming from Montreal and um, I understood that there were a lot of delays with COVID and stuff like that. But the most difficult part is that they're still advertising that, these, that they're able to produce these things in eight to 16 weeks. And I feel like that's kind of false advertising at this point, because it took me like nine months to get our sofa. So anyway, I feel like they should just take that off their website because I feel like it gives people a very false idea of when their furniture is going to arrive. Like, can you imagine? Can you imagine if I ordered this sofa for a one year lease? I only had it for the last two years, two months of my lease. But I'm really excited to get it because I think it's gonna be really beautiful. I just wish customer service was a lot better because even like the fact that they called me on Friday, basically saying that the sofa is finally done and that I'm gonna be getting it on Monday. And if we were available from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then we were gonna get called closer to the day to specify a time of delivery. We never actually got a call. So I called them on Monday at 1 p.m., around 1 p.m., asking them where it was. And they were like basically trying to gaslight me into believing that I didn't actually get that phone call or like I, they don't know why I would get that phone call when in reality, they're just very disorganized. And then I had to like call and schedule my own delivery basically for today. I don't even know if it's gonna come. So I'm gonna call him. It's Rachel, um, we talked yesterday about my delivery. I just wanna make sure you're all, you're still coming between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Okay, sounds good. It's here. I see a soap, a truck. There's a truck right outside the window. Looks like a couch though. It's very different than that. But like, I think people will feel more comfortable sitting on this. Like it's no cloud couch for sure, but it feels very like, like it feels fine to me. Okay, now guys, let's see the sofa in its full situation over here. Here's our sofa. Ah, it's so good. This is the panorama sofa from Element <laughs> to Boss. Um, so it comes with like all these modules so that way it's super super light so you're able to like really just like move it around and you can do any type of formation that you like. We're actually waiting for another side of it to make it an L shape because we like having people over, we love watching the game. Definitely not as deep as our old sofa which we actually donated and I really really like it. Like I don't think anything would have suited the space any better. Um, the reason why we ended up doing something not so much like our old sofa, like that more restoration hardware cloud shape and all that, is mainly because you have to make it to make it look nice. Like this one we can lie on for hours and then when we get up, it's gonna look exactly the same. It's really why we ended up opting for this, just cause it's like the focal point of our house. 
it made the most sense. Um, I think I would do a cloud sofa more for like a TV room or something like that, like a basement where you don't have to see it all the time because I just feel like it just looks really messy like when you don't make it and don't put the effort into it. So just so you know, it is a little bit more added maintenance, but I feel like this area is looking so much more put together and really what we want in the space. So I can't wait till we have an L shape that will go against the window. But for now we have this little guy, which I'm so excited about. Okay, I'm gonna to try to block out our window for privacy obviously, but this is our newest find as well. It is obviously a spoof of a really, really popular designer item. I'll show you guys a picture of the inspo. It is very mid-century and we got it for $195 at Habitat for Humanity. It's been hard showing you guys a full grasp of everything um, because I obviously wanna protect our privacy and all that, but I think that this looks so beautiful. This is the best shot you guys are probably gonna get of it. And it looks so good with the sofa, everything. This is natural light. It just looks super, super pretty. And that is gonna stay there for now till we get the L shape. I think this is gonna go into the office. I'm not too sure yet. This is our dining set. You guys probably saw it last time. Um, I'm really happy with everything, how it turned out. Um, the table is from Shop Clover, and then the chairs we got off of Kijiji, and they definitely need some seat upholstery like we talked about last time. So I ordered all these samples from EQ3 because they actually sell fabric by the meter, and the one I like the most is this one. This one is Greta in the color Hay, grade 60. The only issue with this color is that it's $60, it's $60 a meter, and I need two meters to do the whole um, situation and I picked up what I thought would be the perfect color for our chairs and we put it against here and it's just too gray guys like you guys can't really tell I think from here but this is far warmer than this and I just I don't like that so yeah I have all this extra fabric but it's okay because this is gonna really be great for another project that we're doing but overall this is the whole vibe, it's still the same, but I wanna show you guys the biggest improvement over here. See that little cap there? That used to hang a pendant light that came with the house that we actually took down because it wasn't centered to our dining table. Um, and I'm okay with just having it capped till we find something more suitable. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just put this on Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji or something like that because it's a great light. It just doesn't suit our space. So yep, that's that. So as you guys can see here, there's no more light pendant off, off here, but I don't really mind that too much. I think this space is really coming together and it's gonna look really good once we have a credenza in the back with a piece of art or something there, cause it's all feeling a little bare, but I'm okay with it. I also want to show you guys a few things that I picked up from Indigo, this being one of them. Um, I also, I got some outdoor glasses that are plastic. Um, they're originally eight bucks, but I got them for $6 each at Indigo because um, they're having a sale right now. And you guys definitely should check it out if you need any outdoor stuff. I love these because they match our patio table in the back that I'll pop a picture of. Um, yeah, I just think they're really, really nice. Uh, so we got these because it's just better to have non-glass things outside. And then the next thing I got was for Toledo and I. Let's show y'all. Yeah, I got this mini dip Lux pool. This was on sale because it's definitely more expensive than like a little kitty pool that you can get on Amazon. But I think it's just so pretty. I'm so excited for it. It's apparently, it could apparently fit three adults. So maybe I'll experiment on Instagram um, on this. But I just think this is really cute. If you have kids and you want your backyard to still look like very pretty and sophisticated. I think this is a really good option if you're willing to spend a little bit more money. What do you guys think of the couch? Was it worth waiting nine months? I think so because I just, I love the way it looks. I think it's so gorgeous. We're starting to get the ball rolling on our bathroom reno downstairs. So really excited to show you guys that whole process as well. Um, and follow me on Instagram if you want more instantaneous updates.